Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of Star Trek Online. So we're up to the Doomsday device. Now I have done this once already, but unfortunately the recording software mucked up, so I lost it all. So we're going to have to go through it again, uh, but it's a really, really good mission and I think you'll enjoy it if you've not seen it before. So here we go. Starfleet Intelligence needs your help. Okay, so we got a mission from Starfleet Intelligence. So we need to go to the Denia system. And we can transwarp there, which is cool. Transwarp is the only way to get about, in my opinion. Ace. Right. Let's begin the Doomsday device. Okay, here we go. In our Miranda class. We're counting on you. Fair enough. So we're gonna disable Klingon ship. Now you may notice I have some different weapons. We have the phaser cannon, we have photon torpedo, and we also have a Harpeng torpedo. Now that is what's actually given to you after you fight the Doomsday Machine. But I thought I'd just equip it anyway. You need that torpedo to do damage to the Doomsday device. Here we go. So apparently Star Trek Online is now 13 years old. I can't believe it. I remember when it first came out. Because I used to play it, like, gosh, probably 13 years ago now. Okay, so we're against the Katinga. A battle cruiser here, which, yeah, definitely tougher than a bird of prey. <laughs> IKS Tog. Let's lower their shields. And they can prepare to be assimilated. Industrial energy cells. Okay. Right, so now we need to disable the IKS Targ, not destroy it. And they're in a bird of prey from the looks of it. Pretty tough bird of prey, although maybe because I'm progressing through the game now, it's going to get tougher as we go on. Right, well I think they're disabled, if not destroyed. Gosh. So now we need to board the ship. How do we do Whatever that? Oh, do, yeah. Sir. Okay. Let's go on the IKS Targ. Will there be many Targ aboard? I'm not sure. How can I help you? Right, so we need to secure the engineering deck. Throw a grenade. Oops. Huh. That's strange.
engineering. So yeah, it looks like my crew's beaming over and helping out, which is pretty neat. Something tells me in the next few episodes we're not going to have that kind of help. I'm assuming the Klingon War story arc is more of a tutorial. Well, I could be wrong. Your order, sir. Okay, let's get to the bridge. Yeah, I've found those grenades probably the most useful weapon so far. I do seem to remember when I used to play this, you could get Romulan disruptors and you could have like dual Romulan disruptors, that was pretty cool. Right, so this is the bridge. Anyone Whatever on here? Need, sir. Oh, right. So we need to go to the ready room, find the terminal. Let's go to the ready room. Cutscene time. Captain's personal lock. I have been betrayed by my first officer, a man I considered my friend, Kavok. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavok is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavok sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babat has ordered me to bring him to the Imaga system for questioning. Kabok will die screaming. Mm. It is not an honorable death, but it is the one Kabok deserves. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if the um, Targ was a spy? <laughs> I'd love that. Okay, so we need to get to the brig. Which is this way. Back to the turbo lift. Here he is. Today you are my only hope. I will redeem my honor. Why were you in I the brig? I was once the first officer of this ship. I served the house of Bavart loyally and well, and fought by my captain's side in battle. I thought I was living an honorable life, and then I learned what Ambassador Bavart's plans for the war were. I could not let Bavart do such a horrific thing. To unleash such a weapon upon the galaxy for his own ends is the act of a coward, not a warrior. Interesting. I gathered a small group of officers who thought as I did. Our plan was to take over the ship and fly it to the Imaga system. There, we would either stop this doomsday before it occurred, or die in battle. I tried to take this ship. I failed. Now I am dishonored. And I must redeem myself or die. I wonder if they you had like a fight. Questions. Like on the bridge? Because um, we saw Come. that in Deep Space Nine, didn't we? Repair with this ship and we will fly it to Amaga together. Then we can disable the energy drain so your fleet can enter. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine and end the threat to your Federation. How can I help? Okay, so let's go to the ready room.
Yeah, I remember on um, Deep Space Nine when Worf challenged Martok, the commander of the ship. I so thought Worf was going to win that. Oh, well, you know, Martok, gosh. It's like a proper. It looks like a bit of a pirate to me. Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kavalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before Bavat can use it to attack populated worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. I know you can do it. Good luck. Okay. Yes, Captain? Understood. I'll join you shortly. So, we get to have a bird of prey. I'm monitoring communications from the planet. They're not calling for ships, so either they haven't noticed us, or they think we're supposed to be here. We're safe for now, but that could change. We need to scan one of the generators maintaining the energy drain to get all the information I need to finish a new command program. Be careful. Bavat trusts no one, not even his own men. He may have defenses in this system even I don't know about. What I find funny, whenever you're dealing with Starfleet Intelligence, they wear black com badges, and on lower decks, I found it funny how um, Boimer said, we're supposed to be this super secret organization, yet we all wear black com badges. <laughs> He's right, isn't he? It's so funny. Oh, here we go. Trouble. Drones. Of course, we're in a bird of prey, aren't we? Different weapons. Where's the other one gone? Oh. Good shooting tactical. Drones? Ah! Bavat must have upgraded the security. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet's surface. Okay, let's upload the program. We do have a cloaking device as well. But you can't scan or upload whilst you're cloaked. I suppose because it gives away your position. There we go. Will we get away with it? No. Nope. One hit and then it breaks the link. So something tells me we're going to be attacked at the next one as well. I had to cloak. Come on. It would be cool if you could equip a Federation ship with a cloaking device. I mean, I'm assuming the Defiant has one in this game. Maybe you can do it to all of them. I'm not sure. Okay, more baddies. 
was that Harpeng torpedo? Ah, and it missed. Alright. One remaining. What are they doing? Like Leveling up or something. we get them all? I think we did. The generators are under our control now, but your ships won't be safe until we lock Bavat and his forces out of the command consoles. I've equipped your away team with hollow projectors, and they're ready for the mission. And Captain, remember that you're a Klingon now. <laughs> Try not to look too out of place. Ooh, we're going to land the ship. Bird of Prey. So we have seen the Bird of Prey land before in San Francisco. So yeah, let's see. We, we've seen the Bird of Prey land. We've seen Voyager land. We haven't seen any other Federation ships land, really, apart from the Shuttlecraft. The Delta Flyer. Right. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console, uh, let's just say that Commander Talk prefers fighting to talking. <laughs> the soldiers here shouldn't challenge you. But be careful of the TARS. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Okay, so. Klingon planet. Interesting. Kind of like giant mushrooms. I got to be honest, it looks a lot better than the Vulcan one. I was quite disappointed with the Vulcan planet, to be honest. Interesting how they've got similar coloured sky, like very orangey. What's in here? Hmm. Now we got to watch out for these Targ. Because they can sniff you out. To go for Alpha or Beta? Hmm. Oh, some Targ coming. Run! Oh, I hear firing. I hear firing! Hmm. Swordmaster. Grenade up close. Take that. Oh, we need a bat left. That's what we need. Okay. Hmm. We have a sword master. So I think we're getting to the Alpha one. Right, so we've got... There's Targ over there, we've got to be really careful here because they're like guard dogs basically. Run! Run! Right, can we convince them? Captain, I've been monitoring your progress from the ship. You are very close to one of the control consoles. There are Klingons where you need to go. You will either need to convince them to leave their post, or find other means of getting access. Hmm. The Empire will prevail! Death to the enemies uh -oh. of the Empire! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they're fighting. Can I do this? Return to ship. I see your mission was successful. Excellent. Mine was as well. I have smashed the device that Bavat used to control his doomsday machine. The planet killer is now as dangerous to him and his ships as it is to anyone else. You cannot control the storm, Captain. If you try, it will consume you. Meet me back at the ship. There is still more to do before this dark day ends and my honor is restored. Let's return to the landing site then. Oh, look at all this talk. Oh, I take it they're still a problem. Of course, why wouldn't they be? Man, this Swordmasters are tricky. Unconscious, unconscious, un Are they going to respawn? Am I in trouble here? Do I have to go back and rescue them? Now well, let's see what happens. Now, can I get you down here actually? Or are we going to have a fallout situation? Where you fall off the uh, cliff and end up dying? Oh cool, you can climb on top of the... Whatever they are. Ooh, I don't know about this. Hey, yes, you can! That's cool. Probably shouldn't have done that, but there you go. Thought it'd be safer than being shot. Ah, what's going on here? You! <laughs> you stumbled into my trap in the briar patch like a blind Grishna cat. And here you are again. Luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. The Doomsday Machine will destroy them. It will create glorious, endless war and strife. And it is all possible because of you. No, I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire with your thirst for blood. We face our enemies as warriors for that. We do not Is that a Mortal Kombat cat standing to the right death. there? There are no innocents. Yes, look! There we got Reptile, the strong, and behind, and the to the weak. left, just behind the Klingon, we had Scorpion. I'm sure we weapon. did. I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. No one is safe. This isn't over. Oh, come on, that's Warrior, so Scorpion and attack. Reptile. Joel, it's you. Come here. Oh, they're going. And they're not fighting. Grenade! Let's just whack him with the phaser array. Phaser array. Rifle. Whack! Yeah, the Swordmasters are really tough. Oh, not good. We need a hyper spray. Incapacitated. Everyone's incapacitated. Well, that was a nice nap. Seems everybody had a sleep there. A little siesta. There we go. Captain, Klingon comm traffic just spiked. Bavat's forces have lost control of the Doomsday Machine, uh -oh. and they are scrambling all available ships to try to stop it. I've been in contact with Commander Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet Task Force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. I see it. Bavat's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. Go to the navigation beacon. That should be close enough for the scan. 
but far enough away to keep us safe until help arrives. Okay, so I think I'm going to divert all my power to shield because we're dealing with the doomsday machine. I mean, gosh, this thing's insane. As long as we don't sort of get in the way of its beam, we should be okay. But we do have to fire torpedoes into its mouth, basically. Oh, we may have disturbed it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that thing. Hey, that kind of looks a bit like, um... Oh, what are they called? The Incredible Four? The Rock Guy? I'm really sorry, I can't remember the name of him. Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's... it's Kavok. Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. <laughs> Kavok, turn that shuttle around. You'll be killed! My life is of no consequence, but my honor. No, I must do this. Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi Kalis Pooklod, Koi Puk Bepu, Yakbo Matbo Shesu Gui, Se Machu Me Pu. Mashu Manav it's Bakko Chu, Nipe in my shot woku. We need a translation for this, don't we? Well, Google Translate will work. Ooh. I'm reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, Man, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Well, we better not get in front of it then. So, I've diverted power to the shields. Ah, here's the Federation fleet. Here we go. Fighting the Klingon fleet. So who's fighting the Doomsday Machine? That would be us, I think. Ooh, direct hit. <laughs> immune, immune, immune. Yeah, so standard weapons don't work, as you can see. Oh no. It's getting ready to fire, I can tell. I got a horrible feeling about this. Maybe we should increase power to the engines. There's a bit more maneuverability. Oh dear! Yep, forget the engines. Shields, definitely. Come on, Harping, fire! Ah, slow. I'm not sure we're going to take another hit here. This isn't good. It's moving! It's following! Ooh, is that a Galaxy Class X? Stop getting distracted. <laughs> Ooh. I always get distracted in battles by ships. Oh no! Defeated! I think that's the first time I've been defeated actually, playing. Possibly. I'm not sure. I'm sure that's going to happen many more times in the future. It is pretty cool how it kind of lets you respawn back in. I like that. From what I remember, it's when you do giant fleet battles against, say, the Borg or something else. That happens quite a lot from what I remember. Oh gosh, I flew right into that one. Come on, Harpeng. I think we missed. 
What is that? Disruptor. Yeah, it's turn. Fire! Oh, we got it! Oh, gosh. Watch out with the ships. Oh, no! The explosion! <laughs> So it turns out when the Doomsday Planet Destroyer blows up, it causes a bit of an explosion. Who would have thought? Captain, Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The message is from Kronos, sir. Routing it to the main view screen now. Captain, my name is Command. Uh, pirate there? While the Empire realizes that you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds, I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship you stole immediately. I would not want to have to escalate this into something that we will both regret. The battle is over. We do not need to begin another. It might be best to do what he asks, Captain. The fleet's in no condition for a prolonged fight, sir. And honestly, there's not much about the Bird of Prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. We did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory, and the fleet can take you and your crew back to your ship. The important thing is that the Doomsday Machine was destroyed. Look at that. I'm sure Commander Burgess will want to congratulate you for a around. job well done. Let's warp out. Cool. Kavolt's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and end the threat of Bavat's weapons programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least now he's disarmed. At least as much as any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return the IKS Targ to the Klingons. Hmm? I don't believe that there's much about that class of bird of prey that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't already know. If getting the ship back lets the Klingons think they won a small victory, I don't mind, and you shouldn't either. There are very few captains who can say they faced a threat like you did today and lived to tell the tale. Impressive work. Ooh. Well, I do have the Harpane torpedo launcher already. What could we use? I'm going to go for the Resilient Shield Array. Oh, hang on. 2-6. Yeah, but that one's got a higher... Oh, there's so many variables. Let's go for the Covariant one. You must choose all rewards. Okay. So let's go back to Starfleet Command. Right, so here we are at Earth Space Dock, back with Admiral Quinn, there's Admiral Janeway, and we've now completed the Klingon story arc, Klingon War. So our next episode is going to focus on the Romulan mystery. I'm looking forward to that one. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>